Welcome back to this new series on learning React.js. My name's Rob, and let's just say I've been a developer for a long time. In the last episode, we looked at what is a JavaScript framework? What is React? And what is the DOM, the document object model? If you haven't seen that episode, then I'd advise you to click on the link above somewhere. Well, this time we're going to dive in to React components. So as I say, without further ado, let's dive straight in. So following on from the last episode, we're going to look at React components. If there's anything specific about React that you'd like me to cover, by the way, don't forget to leave a note in the comments below and subscribe for the new episodes as they come along. And I'll answer you as soon as I can. So what are components? Well, a React application is made up of components. For example, if we want to build an administration application like we're doing throughout the weeks to come, then we need to identify the main components, the header, the navigation, the content components. A React component contains a special kind of content called a JSX template. JSX stands for JavaScript XML, or in this case, we're going to be developing using TypeScript and TypeScript XML, they're TSXs. So interchangeably, JSX, TSX, when you see that, they're special templates used by React. What do we mean? Well, it's a special kind of structure a content structure that ultimately outputs HTML to the web browser. It has its own data and logic to control the JSX template. Now, components can also contain other components. For example, a page component may contain paragraphs, buttons, panels, each one being a component that can then contain further components. The benefit of this architecture is it allows us to break up a huge application into very simple, small components. As the old adage goes, how do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. How do we build a complex application? One component at a time. We can then reuse these components throughout our application or even a completely different application. So we can develop once and reuse. For example, we could create a button that could have all kinds of nice properties and colors and things like this, and then reuse that in a completely different application. JSX is a syntax extension to JavaScript, just as TSX is the equivalent extension to TypeScript. We use JSX to construct a document object model, see the previous episode, with React elements. Now, as an interesting side note, the reason Facebook introduced this JSX template was to create a kind of concise XML model for manipulating the DOM. So what we mean by that is, you know, you could have a tree of components with other components and other components, and instead of being some complex code, it could be uh, put together nicely in XML, which was known by uh, people worldwide. And the goal, well, it would make it more readable to the human eye. So an important rule is a component must return a single React element. So if you wanted to have multiple elements, divs, buttons, all these things, you'd need to wrap them with an element like a div or even a special blank element that's provided by React. Now, you may have heard of class-based components. They were the original components used by React. And more recently, you may have heard of functional components or hooks as they're known. Well, in this series, we're going to be concentrating on the latter, the function-based components or hooks as they're known. This seems to be the most popular approach being taken as the React community grows. Now, with React hooks, we can define application logic to interact with a view. Now, if you think of a view, just think HTML, the thing that appears to the user in the browser. And then introducing a concept of properties, we can define various aspects of that component. If you think of HTML, you might have seen things like class in there. Well, React Components has something similar, but you can customize these properties and they can be whatever you want. 
show button, hide button, is panel open, is panel closed, and so on and so forth. So within our components, we can add not only other components, but other functions as well to do rich calculations or maybe fetch data and save data. But let's not worry too much about components and the inner workings. The key takeaway from this video is components are the core building blocks of a React application. Okay. They're defined using JSX or TSX, a special extension to JavaScript and TypeScript. A component must return a single element. So in review of the previous episodes, well, we learned that a web page in the previous episode is made up of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. React.js is a JavaScript framework, and the core building blocks of React application are components. That's what we've learned this week. So in conclusion for this episode, I do hope you found it useful. If you want to get started building your React application, I'm going to put a link below. But if you join us at the next video, uh, you'll see the link in a moment on this React journey. We'll set up our development environment, we'll build our first project, and we'll run our first web application. So all the instructions to setting up the development environment are below, but I will be doing that in the next video. And to get notified of when that video is, please click the subscribe button. I'll see you next time.